hello we are at 5881 maroon i will come down here to the bottom and walk our way up after i look at the neighborhood so it's a nice neighborhood right here nice corner lot we'll head on upstairs or up here I saw a crack here but that can be caulked that's an easy little patchwork later and then a little bit of settling there that just needs to be caulked the steps are poured separate from the house so they really don't affect anything about the home I don't see it as a deterrent it has a nice little porch here there's the shed in the back and again, this is the view you would have from your porch. And we'll go inside. Okay. So it looks like they're getting ready to go. We have the living room space. That's the entry. Closet door open to the second floor there. That makes a nice look. And then the kitchen. You could update the kitchen countertops at a later date. That would add value. And a nice size pantry. Real wood floors down here. And the view from the kitchen. Sink. Okay, so I'll stand over here and just go this way. All right, that goes upstairs. Then we have a nice open area here for eating. Go down to the family room. Very nice. Big size, you can see the size of the furniture here. Family room looks up towards the kitchen. Let's go check this area out over here. We've got the stairs going down. We'll go down there in a minute. Laundry room, company bath. And the laundry room's over here with shelves. There we go. Nice. Coat closet, I'm guessing, here. Uh, storage. It's a storage. You could add a rack if you'd wanted to make it a, clo a coat closet. And then here's the garage. Let me do the light. A two-car garage. Standard two-car. Nothing special. There's something there that home inspector would probably want to have that patched. Okay. All right. Let's head downstairs before we go up and then out all right here's the basement whoopsie there we go and we have just a little small room here and another one over here just a small little two small rooms and then this is the store the uh, crawl space right underneath let me see if there's a light switch there is and there's the crawl space where you can store things or just have it there. Okay. And over here, it looks like they, I'm not sure what they were doing over here. Just an unfinished portion. The sprinkler system turn off, a drain. And then you come around the corner here to the utility room. I think you could reconfigure this um, if you wanted to a little bit differently. And then I'm not sure what that is. Ah, that's the other side of the crawl space. That's what that is. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's head upstairs. Oh, there we go. Oh, 
and we'll go up to the bedrooms. All right. Here we are at the top. They have an attic fan, which helps bring in cool air. Let me look at this little opening here. AC units right there if you want to use them in the window. Another bedroom. And this is, oh, this is the master. So a lot of candles. <clears throat> and that usually means there's an odor to cover up. Carpet could probably be replaced sometime. It looks pretty good, though. And here's the coat closet. I mean, not the coat closet, the master closet. Okay. And then I'll come over here. You've got, whoops, wrong window. Here we go. This is the, the backyard view from above. Okay. And then here's the bedroom again. The master. That open area that you could put a desk. The full bath for the other two bedrooms on this level. The linen closet. Bedroom two, that goes out the front of the house. It's a smaller room, could be an office or a kid's bedroom. And then bedroom, another bedroom, which is, looks like even smaller here, but they're using it as their office. There we go. I see a lot of potential with this house. Only thing I had a concern with was the uh, num numerous candles that are burning, uh, carpet and paint, which is normal cosmetic, nothing to affect uh, much of the value at this time at all, actually. <laughs> and let's go look at the backyard. But things that you could do to update and improve for sure. All right, when you come out here, you step down to a landing and then you would go up to the deck. They have the, another window unit right there. That's a swamp cooler. It uses cool air or uh, water to help cool. So I would add AC too, that's $3,500. I think that would be well worth it versus all the window units around the house. And looks like landscaping they, they had piled up they haven't used yet or may never use. The fence is slightly slanted. All of these things, though, un, um, will probably not affect the value at all. Just a heads up. Okay, let's look over here to the storage unit. I can see the deck could use some updating. Uh, just some sanding and staining. And then over here, we have the storage unit. These window well covers could be removed and you could add the metal wrought iron uh, or a plastic ones. And then you would have um, more light going down in that basement. And let me go over here on this one side. A window screen has fallen down. That's easy to throw back up. And I think this is where you'd put the AC unit if you added one right there. And the final thing I want to point out, it looks like the sprinkler system is no longer working. I see some dug up, chewed on plastic. So, um, you could always have that corrected uh, at a later date. Okay. So, a bit of a DIY. A do-it-yourself kind of uh, bring this up. Well, thank you. I will talk to you later.
Bye.